10 and 4 0 in the NE 10 Northeast. And on the other side, St. Michael's College is at 2 and 12 on the young season, 1 and 3 in the NE 10, and 1 and 3 in the NE 10 Northeast. And she swings and misses there. Baroni with a huge strikeout for the first out of the first inning. Rathwell fires. Garzinski gets a piece of that one. That's at least going to the gap. And beyond. That one's over the wall. And Aaron Garzinski scores the first run of the afternoon with a solo bomb to left center. Just an off-speed pitch. And Garzinski gets a chance to absolutely hammer it and does into the deep gap of left field and puts Southern New Hampshire on top one to nothing. That's Garzinski's third home run on the season. RBI number 21. As with two outs, the senior comes in clutch and gets run number one here in inning number one. Roney 1-2 sets down Welling on the high heater. Another strikeout here, and that's the first out for Roney. Another swing and a miss here for a second consecutive strikeout. Strikeout, two outs in the inning. Roney fires another one, another swing and a miss. The trifecta, three strikeouts this inning. A quick top of the second is the pendant. Hold their 1-0 lead, try and keep the inning alive. Baroni says, let's just end it with another strikeout. Sit Savini down, and is, that is a quick top of the fourth. Rathwell fires, Carbono has all of that one, and hits that ball goodbye. Another home run here for the Pemmin, and the freshman puts run number two on the board with an absolute bomb. She absolutely launched that thing, as you said, Lance. And that one was a no-doubter right off the bat. Southern New Hampshire has doubled their lead, both by the long ball. Carbono did a really nice job of working that at bat. She got two balls, was in a perfect hitter's count right there. Saw the off-speed pitch and sent that flying over the left field fence. So Pavaju goes with the pitch, a little blooper in the right field, and she'll drive in run number three. Really nice piece right there. Really good battle from Shea Savage. Baroni with another swing and miss strikeout for out number one. Baroni gets the strikeout looking right there. Two down to the left fielder, Courtney Norton. Baroni in once again, and a swing and a miss will do it. That is your ball game here in game number one of our doubleheader. The Southern New Hampshire University Pemmin will walk away victorious three to nothing over the Purple Knights. Back to the SNHU softball field for game number two of our doubleheader here. On Wednesday afternoon, the Penman took the first contest three to nothing. Maddie Baroni was dominant in the complete game shutout. But now pitching here for the Penman is gonna be Olivia Strasser. Strasser now, two, two, and paints the corner for a strikeout looking to end the top of the first. Aaron Garzinski, a dangerous bat in this lineup. She'll throw a bunt down. Very surprising there. She's gonna beat the throw from Longley that bounces to first. Griffin's head up, base running right there. She makes it home safe. Advancing all the way from second to home. And no one expects Garzinski to drop a bunt down. Third baseman playing back. And she gets an RBI as the heads up base running by Griffin. And now first and third, still no outs here. Longley delivers. That one's going to be hit between third and short for run number two. Nice poke right there from Emily Carboneau. Freshman gets it done. Another RBI in game two here. Another solid bat as Welling can't snag that one at second. Garzinski will be waved. And that's run number three as Longley in a tough position down 3 0 in her first start of the season. Longley delivers. Bashan sends one out to right field. Charging in. Carbonu gets sent, and she is safe, so the sack fly works out there. Strasser gets the swing and a miss. Four strike number three, and that's the top of the second. Longley with the pitch. Gets a hold of that one, hit to center field. Center fielder looking up, and that one is gone from the eight hole hitter, Gabby Patchon. A bomb to center field that just gets over and the Penman extend their lead to seven to nothing. Longley will throw a bullet right there from Garzinski, hits it over to Norton who gets it in, but another run scored here for the Penman. That one was just a rocket off the bat, no chance for the shortstop. 
And a good base hit gets the run home. Atherton fires, swing and a miss. And that is out number two, and that is a huge strikeout right there. So they can just get a ground out or a pop out here. Maybe even another strikeout from Atherton. The penman get out of this huge jam. Atherton delivers off speed. Backhand grab in the circle. Throw over to Carboneau, and that is your ball game. Game two goes to the penman as well. Eight to nothing. The penman holds St. Michael's scoreless here in both contests.